Apple recently unveiled a range of AI tools they've been developing, introducing over 25 new AI updates at their latest developer conference. Among the major announcements is the integration of ChatGPT directly into Apple products. This means that iPhones, iPads, and Mac operating system will now feature ChatGPT utilizing its 4.0 capabilities completely free of charge. In this video, I'll briefly cover all 25 updates. At the forefront is Apple Intelligence, which is distinct from the ChatGPT integration. Apple Intelligence includes a large-scale model for text creation across Mac products and a diffusion model for generating images from text prompts. These models are incorporated into numerous apps and workflows. The key strength of Apple Intelligence is its contextual awareness across all your devices. For instance, it can generate an image resembling a specific person by using tag photos from your library, allowing you to create personalized emojis. This is just one of the many updates coming soon. Another major update is Actions, specifically cross-app Actions. Your iPhone can now perform tasks across different apps. For example, it can find a podcast your wife sent you in a message and play it automatically. Another update is Personalized Context, referred to as Personalized AI. This feature leverages your iPhone's knowledge of your personal data like your photo library, messages, and emails to offer tailored assistance. For instance, if a meeting is rescheduled, Apple Intelligence can help you determine if you still make into your daughter's play on time by considering personal details like who your daughter is, the place details, your meeting information, and traffic conditions. Apple has also revolutionized AI privacy with on-device intelligence where most actions are processed on your device, keeping your data private. However, for tasks requiring more computing power than your device can handle, they introduce private cloud computes. This system uses Apple's dedicated servers to handle complex tasks securely when on-device processing is insufficient. This is quite intriguing. Previously, it was assumed that AI tasks had to be processed on the device to ensure privacy. Now, with the introduction of private cloud computes, Apple can handle more complex tasks securely by utilizing dedicated servers when on-device processing is insufficient. Another significant update is the complete overhaul of Siri. Previously seen as less useful, Siri now incorporates natural language processing, greatly enhancing its capabilities. Additionally, users can type their request to Siri if they prefer not to speak aloud, allowing for a seamless switching between text and voice interactions. As part of this update, Siri now has on-screen awareness, enabling it to interact with content visible on your screen. For instance, if a friend texts you with their new address, you can ask Siri to add it to their contact card directly from the messages thread. Additionally, Siri actions allow for deeper app interactions. You can ask Siri to edit a photo, then add the edited photo to a notes app with a person's bio all in seconds. This functionality is enhanced by a new framework called App Intense, which lets third-party app developers define actions Siri can perform using Apple Intelligence. This integration means you won't need to open individual apps to perform tasks. Siri will handle it for you. This update is not limited to iPhones but will also be available on iPads and Macs, ensuring seamless cross-device collaboration. For users with multiple Apple devices, this integration promises to significantly boost productivity. Furthermore, Apple introduced system-wide writing tools. Apps like Notes, Mail, and Pages will now feature capabilities for rewriting, changing the tone, summarizing, and proofreading text, enhancing the writing experience across all Mac apps. One of my favorite new features is Smart Replies in the Mail app, available on Mac, iPhone, and iPad. This feature offers quick, AI-generated responses to emails, allowing you to choose a suggested reply or write your own, which can save a lot of time for those who spend considerable time responding to emails. Another major email enhancement is email summaries in your inbox. When you open your inbox, each email will have a summarized preview, letting you quickly decide if you need to read the full email. For longer emails, you can tap for a detailed summary at the top of the email, making it easier to manage your inbox efficiently. 
Additionally, there's a new notification management features for emails. This system prioritizes your emails based on importance, pulling a crucial ones to the top of your inbox for a prompt response, and filtering out less important ones. It uses on-device intelligence and private server processing to maintain privacy while providing personalized email management. Lastly, Apple introduced a new notification tool for enhanced management across your devices, ensuring seamless communication and productivity. In focus mode, your device will use its large language model to determine the urgency of incoming notifications. If a notification is urgent, it will interrupt you, otherwise, it will delay the alert until you are available. In the Messages app, a new feature called Jan Emoji allows you to create AI-generated emojis based on descriptions. Leveraging context from your photo library, you can create personalized emojis that resemble people in your photos, providing a unique and customized way to respond. Another update centers on Apple's diffusion model for image generation. They've introduced an image playground platform that allows unlimited on-device image creation. This feature integrates with frequently used apps like Notes, Pages, Keynote, and Numbers, enhancing productivity with custom visuals. Additionally, a new standalone image playground app will soon be available on Mac dedicated to creating images. This ensures privacy by keeping the entire image generation process on your device. Apple has introduced several exciting new tools and updates. Number 1. Image 1 in Notes app You can now sketch something in the Notes app, highlight it, and use the image playground to transform into a polished image. Number 2. Cleanup tool for photos. This tool automatically analyzes and cleans up photos, such as removing unwanted people in the background. Number three, enhance search bar in Photos app. The search functionality is now more powerful, allowing you to use natural language to find specific items in your photos or videos. It can even pinpoint moments within video clips using vision. Number four, memory movies. Create movies with storylines using simple text prompts. This feature uses photos, videos, and Apple Music to produce a customized movie. Number 5. Voice Messages in Notes app You can leave yourself audio messages, were then automatically transcribed and summarized by AI. Number 6. Chat GPT Integration the biggest update is the native integration of ChatGPT across all Apple devices, including iPhones, iPads, and Macs. ChatGPT enhances Siri, making it significantly more powerful. You can use ChatGPT for searches and writing content in apps like Pages, offering a new Compose option for assistance in content creation. Apple Intelligence and ChatGPT integration are available for free with rollouts starting in the summer for developers and broader availability in the fall with iOS 18. Many of these new tools will be rolling out with iOS 18. If you have Mac, now is an excellent time to learn how to use ChatGPT effectively. Get ready for iOS 18 back with exciting AI tools and productivity enhancement from Apple. Explore ChatGP integration, improve email management, and creative features like Gen Emoji and Memory Movies. It's time to learn and make the most of these powerful tools. Stay tuned for updates and tips on maximizing Apple's device experience. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.